Another, another interesting stat for you in India. So it was 58% of people who left their job recently left because of a toxic boss. Wow. Not because of career progression, not because yeah. of money, da, 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 yeah. because they don't like the boss. So I thought that was really interesting as, as like things evolve in India and, you know, culturally and all of this kind of stuff. It's, it's super interesting. That was then last, last useful, useful stat. Um, I listened to a, a lady from McKinsey talk uh, a yeah. couple of days ago. Uh, uh, um, another for, reason in, in India, and this is this yeah. is unique in India, right? Because of the population pyramid and because of the demographics, where every year you have more young people hitting the workforce than you did the year before, right? Which is very unique. And and uh, there's a huge price escalation as people go from year one to year ten. For example, uh, you can large tech companies in India can probably hire uh, an entry level engineer, uh, not, not the top 1% of engineers, but like a middle of the pack engineer in yeah. India today, anywhere from four or $5,000 a year to like $8,000 a year. Right. Which is crazy, but, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're decent yeah. and they're good engineers. Right. I mean, these uh, are good engineers. Th 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 these, are, these are, these are middle of the pack. So these aren't quite the engineers that, like Amazon or Apple would hire, or even we would hire at Recruit CRM. But like they're still getting hired at like the big ID outsourcing companies like TCS and Infosys and Cognizant and, and so on. So these are the yeah. ones doing all the hardcore back office stuff, not building products, okay. but delivering services. But the crazy thing is most of these people would uh, effectively double their salaries within two to three years. And wow. then they would double their salaries again in another three to four years. That doesn't happen in Western markets. So if someone no, starts no, no. at X thousand pounds in the UK, six years in, they're not making four X. That's no, not no, normal. No, no, no. Here it's very no, how long? How long will that last in India for though? I mean, they'll come to a point where... Yeah, so, so what happens is the growth is very steep if you're, if you're above average, because, uh, because the huge challenge in India is we have a huge amount of like latent talent, right? Uh, but we still, and, and you see a lot of the top tier talent. So when, when you see a lot of the, the Indians who go to Oxford and LSE, you know, in, in, or in, in Harvard or, or Cornell, that's the top 0.1% of talent. But if you take the average talent, they haven't had the resources and the education and schooling that's required to truly be top tier engineers. So if you're doing well, you can really go all the way up to like, Seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars in India without having to leave the country over 10, yeah. 12, 13 years. So you could go from being a 22 year old making what is considered very low income in the Western world to a 32, 33 year old making a globally competitive wage. And then you know, which goes, which goes yeah. far locally, right? Yeah, which goes very far locally. Because if you're making a hundred thousand dollars or eighty thousand dollars in India, you have a chauffeur, you have a cook, you have a maid, you have, uh, you have a lot, uh, which you, which you don't. <laughs>